liar idiocy. So they don't like ya. Who cares? It's not like it's anything new. Ever since you were little, you liked what you liked. All the cool kids were playing football while you were admiring Kung Fu lore. You never cared about girls nearly as much as the normal guys. You found value not just in direct physical pleasure, but in art, music, ethics, and wisdom. Most would be bored or even pity you in their short-sighted ignorance. Now, in the world of online personalities, they take the cake as they play a video game and talk. The luminous and well-wrought, long-toiled and well-writ. They have all the money, all the fame, but it is you who never compromised your thoughts, never measured short to be principal. They tell you it's your fault. They tell you that no one likes you, that no one cares about you, that nothing could be further from the truth. You are merely more selective of friends, unwilling to put on motley and lie with your whole being. It's not that you don't work hard enough, or that you don't have the drive, nor are you paranoid or out of control as they suggest. The fact is, when times are tough, you hold your ground. You looked after your friends even when they were lashing out because you knew they were scared. When everyone lined up to betray someone, you were the one who stood through them. You see through the noise and stand by their side. When they turned tail and ran, you stood your ground, fought back and won. They sold their individuality that day. They lost themselves and they took the money. And now, they tell the liar line. It's not your strategy, your content, or your personal life. It's the fact that the very moment the corporate interest got a hold of the lucrative web companies, it was no longer a revolutionary information superhighway, nor a platform where everyone could be a star. No, the illusion of the great idea hangs in its plaque. But in place of it are bought and paid for actors who tow the boat and give the appearance of being more than a hollowed out shell of what it once was. And now, you walk around in your creative freedom, mind uncorrupted by dirty dollars, unbothered by the insanely ridiculous overtures and exaggerations of violent radicalism, which, to any rational mind, don't amount to shit. Our enemies are in the employ of criminals. That is why they are so bothered just by the fact of our existence. It is why they always call for the rounding up of those who simply voice a different opinion. The more they threaten, the closer they are to their true reward for being fools. And permit them not from falling, lest we fill the world with them.